Now, these are the domains of happiness against talent gravity. And you can see, in fact, this is a good summary of the day to a degree. Yeah? A good summary because everything that, that I heard from this morning is probably listed there somewhere on the right, on the right hand column. Yeah? It's about personal management, the healthcare, the growth, the personal learning and development, the meaning, the purpose, corporate branding, impact, sustainability, the boss, yeah? the positive work environment. So here we start to map gross national happiness to the things that we need to do with, in, in relation to talent gravity. Yeah? And hopefully from there, we start to learn uh, how to do it. Now, some of you may have implemented talent engagement in your organisations, so I apologise for that. The last two slides is basically going back to the basics. What does talent gravity, what does implementing talent gravity in an organisation mean? One, yeah, when they talk about talent gravity 101 in the US, all the freshman courses are, are, are title 101. Understand how engagement drives results. You need to understand, if I engage with my employees a lot more, what can they give back to me? How do you do that? Yeah? Two, communicate, clarify, align business strategy. I think you know, the, the, some of the speakers already spoke about this. You need to ensure that they are aligned in terms of the thinking. They, they, they fully understand what the organisation wants to do. Three, implement a coaching culture throughout the organisation. Now, I they probably differ slightly from Warren in terms of mentors. Yeah? In, in, in any organisation, the, the resources are limited. So mentors, in, in most of our, where we engage uh, in our consulting, we recommend mentoring for the top 10 or top 20 of the percent of the talents. Yeah? This is basically for the, the high performance or the high potentials. Yeah? So, but, for everybody else, we, want, we always recommend a coaching culture and we've conducted workshops in, the, in this space, yeah? be it executive coaching or even workshops for managers to go through and understand what coaching is all about. This is a very, very important element of, in fact, it's the most important element of talent engagement, I must say. Yeah? Third, focus learning and development, uh, fourth, sorry. Focus learning and development on achieving individual and corporate goals. Make sure it's aligned to what the business wants to achieve out of the vision, out of the mission of the organisation. Do not digress. Today, there's a lot of fads out there, you know. It used to be total TQM and so on and so forth. Today, there's so many things happening and everybody says, yeah, that's the course that we should be attending. No, this is the thing that we need to look at how your training needs analysis, etc. How we align those training to what the organisation needs, where the organisation is going to go through in the next two, three to five years, and how do we align the training courses to meet those needs? Yeah? Five, leverage engagement activities, develop an engagement culture. If you start to develop the coaching culture, that is the first. Yeah? In fact, I think some of the, people, the presenters this morning spoke about engagement, meaning the opportunity for you to give feedback. The opportunity, opportunity for you to get feedback. Yeah? And that will be the first st uh, start, start of the engagement uh, process. So develop that engagement culture one-on-one, -on -one, one to many or many to one. Yeah? And finally, I think a lot of people miss this. Uh, in fact, many of our clients, they are poor at, at, at doing this. We need to address this engagement. Yeah, we need to discipline the disengagement. Even though I think uh, someone mentioned, you know, uh, Doc, uh, you, you're talking about, you know, I'll spend 20% of my time for the disengaged, for the poor performers, 80% of my time for the uh, high performers. Very good, but we need make sure you spend that 20% on those who are disengaged because that is the cancer that will spread around the organisation. Yeah, we either get rid of them or get them to change before, before we can get success. So let me, let me wrap up all whatever I've spoken about. Happiness is the start. If we can get our people happy, 
and get them to understand the clarity, the clarity of purpose, the meaning of why they exist, yeah, we can get good performance. And out of good performance, we will, we will be able to create success and impact and out of there, we can grow our talent yeah, and reward them accordingly. Yeah? So that's the end of the presentation. I'm sorry that I ran a little bit out of time, but uh, thank you very much for your attention. Yeah, thank you.